welcome back everyone. This is uh, SciTech with Tech Riot Gaming here with our 11th episode in our Planet Crafter Hardcore Run. We're going to be picking up where we left off in the last episode, so let's get into it. Okay, so let me pull up my agenda here. All right, for today's agenda, we're going to be doing our gathering and uh, clearing of our crops and drills, first and foremost. Then there's, uh, I want to get two more tier two drills down, one for pulsar quartz and one for zeolite. Um, I want to get one of those new trade rockets, these guys right here, built, or maybe a couple of them. We haven't really explored the advanced crafting yet, like with circuit boards and stuff. I think it might be fun to do. And then after that, we'll work on um, getting our rockets even. We talked about it in the last episode right here, getting these numbers equal. I may try to get 10 across the board for all of these. Um, so we will, we'll see if we can do that. I mean, there's a lot of rockets to launch, uh, but, and we have to wait in between each one, at least on the pressure and heat ones because they bring meteor storms. But luckily, those we have the most of, right? So, um, you know, we'd have to we have to do five pressure rockets and one heat rocket. And I don't believe the seed spreader or the plant one bring bring meteor storms. We, well, we know the plant one doesn't, but the seed one I don't remember. So we'll have to just have to see about that. Um, if we have time after that, we'll I want to get down a DNA manipulator incubator and start playing around a little bit with some of the um, you know insect animal stuff that we're gonna have to start getting into. I have story quest on my list, but I just don't think we're ready for it unless I want to you know pack a whole ton of O2 and you know kind of go down there and hope we don't die, right? Um, I just don't want to be rushed when we're down in that area for the story quest and it seems like the developers have purposely done that change to gate us behind terraform and atmos breathable atmosphere score so um, they haven't made it impossible to do before that they just you know <laughs> it seems like they made that change to gate us uh, it could be to prevent some exploits maybe as well that was uh, uncovered in early access. Um, okay, so our mushrooms are not ready to be harvested. What about the rest of the stuff? Uh, green beans are not. Squash is not. Yep, okay. So none of the crops are ready to be harvested, so we can skip that. Uh, okay. Let me just see if I want to clear out the tier 1 drills or not. I'm just going to check what our levels are in here. In our cabinets. Full cobalt. One missing. Full cobalt. Let's grab this. Go here. Put that there. So we have three full cabinets of cobalt. Half a cabinet of titanium. Full cabinet. Full cabinet. Okay, let's do this. Oops. Uh, first titanium cabinet. Okay, so we got three full cabinets of titanium, full iron, half of iron. Three full cabinets of magnesium. How much super alloy do we have on us? Full cabinet. Might need a little bit more. All right, we'll clear out the tier one drills. We'll get two harvests of. We'll get a few harvests of super alloy. And we'll clear out the tier one drills.
Forgot to check on my silicone to see what I... Okay, that... Is that silicone locker seriously all empty? Wow. Okay. Okay, we'll try and make this fast. Um, obviously our gathering and um, cleaning out of drills is going to get just faster and faster over time as we unlock more technology because we'll be able to put teleporters out, we'll be able to get tier 3 drills which are just only the uh, minerals that we want so we can selectively harvest versus having to clear out everything, right? Okay, silicone, cobalt, titanium, magnesium, Iron there, full, full, are these both full, let's see, full, yeah, okay, got it all out, yep, yeah, okay, and we, yeah, so like I said, we won't have to, did I get them, all of this, yeah, okay, uh, we won't have to be clearing these out every time just to make ensure that they're getting a good variance because we'll have tier 3 drills and they'll be set to specific things. So it's just going to get better and better as we go. So you just have to bear with me in some of these earlier episodes while we kind of labor our way through this. Oh, whoops, forgot the cobalt. Titanium. Magnesium. Iron. Get another round of this going here. So you can see with six drills and an auto crafter, it makes it makes you know getting that super alloy a little bit trivial. I mean, we have a tier two drill and a super alloy. I haven't even gone to it yet. Well, okay, that's not true. I went to it once. Um, okay, uh, let's go get our tier 2 drills cleared out. Get our water situation taken care of. I love that we can just drink from water sources right now. It's so good. <laughs> I'm not carrying a water on me though, so we're going to have to just be cognizant of that. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're doing well. I've been enjoying the series so far. I, I love Planet Crafter. My, my first time on the 1.0 hardcore playthrough they definitely made it a little bit more challenging in the early parts but I'm, I'm having fun now it's great and there's still a lot more to the game still a lot more for us to uncover and do I mean I've been kind of being relaxed about our terraformation index been more about getting in just existing on the planet and playing the game and unlocking things and hopefully you guys all enjoy that oh yeah I forgot to do our algae harvest let me double check our algae levels inside uh, I want to drop all this off and then we might do an algae harvest before we go to the next drill uh, what do I have on me osmium that's right Good, we need more osmium, that's great. Just double check these silicone lockers. I mean, I don't know why I keep equaling these out with the auto crafter if we're gonna keep using it. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. Trigger me a little bit that they're not in my system, but I guess I have to give that up if I'm gonna be using auto crafter.
It's just hard to know if they're full or empty, so you just don't know, right? Do I want to pull? Hmm. How much super ally do we have in here? Yeah, we're fine. I'm not going to do another round of super ally. Oh yeah, I was going to check algae levels. Double check our algae lockers. Full, like one and three quarter. Let's grab this. Let's come over here. So we can probably do a harvest of algae and just get this third locker full. I know it kind of maybe seems like I'm hoarding, but we're going to need a lot of fertilizers and things like that, and they take a lot of algae, so the more extra algae we can have on us, the better. I should change the music station up, too. I didn't realize the one I'm listening to is like a, I don't know, a short rotation of, of songs. To hear the same stuff over and over again. Maybe I'll change it up in the next episode. Oh, inventory full. Hello? Click on the locker, thank you. Uh, okay, we'll we'll grab the last of this that's down there, and that will hopefully fill out our third locker. And then we really don't have to worry about harvesting this again until we've done a bunch of work uh, consuming it, right? In fact, we'll probably have too much, and I'll have to sink some of this. That's okay. That's why we overbuilt, so we don't have to be stuck wondering, hey, I need this, I gotta wait for it, right? Hello? Yeah, it's a little wonky, sometimes it doesn't trigger when you want to drink. Yeah, we had extra. Do I want to make some? How much eggplant? Ooh. Three, three, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I need sulfur. Got to hold control again. All right, we didn't have any in there, so that's good. Put a few bags in instead of sinking the excess. Okay. Um, yeah, we got plenty of food. We got two food on us. All right, let's go get our uh, other tier two drills. We'll get this iridium one on the way back. I mean, after we get the sulfur one. Oh, there was something else um, I caught when we were doing algae here that I wasn't commenting on. I'll show you in a minute. It'll be so nice when those drills are only collecting what we want them to. So, one of the interesting things about the Planet Crafter game series is that... Or game series. The Planet Crafter game is that the planet evolves as you terraform, right? But they've made it kind of dynamic in that <clears throat> the world itself changes as you hit your scores uh, beyond what you're doing to it, right? Like you have tree spreaders and plant spreaders and, you know, stuff like that. You've obviously seen the water fill in and the green grass and the plants and that kind of thing, right? Um, but they physically change the world, too. So I want to show... Uh, an example of that here. We just finished putting this stuff away. We got some aluminum. I must have got that aluminum from the sulfur mo drill. That's good, I guess. Silicone, cobalt, titanium, magnesium, iron. Okay. Is it nighttime? I want this to be daytime. 
<clears throat> Let's go get our iridium drill. Hopefully it'll be daytime, then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Get the let's get these access resources out of here and it will allow us to kind of consolidate our iridium if we need to oops Two iridium rods out of that. That's good. <clears throat> okay, is it daytime yet? Yeah, it's pretty close. So, we we hit tree stage, right? Let me just look real quick. Can't remember. We hit tree stage, and then we hit insect stage. Now we're working on breathable atmosphere. But I think when we hit tree stage, this area where we've been playing changed. Look over here. This used to be a solid cliff of stone. And when we hit tree stage, that tree grew out of the ground. And I guess, I guess what they're trying to imply is that it grew out of the ground and collapsed the cliff. So now there's a passageway through and this area over here, I'm not gonna go to it right now, but you can see there's like a waterfall, a giant waterfall in the background. That's that is an area from early access we call the waterfall. It's basically a giant waterfall. It's a cool area. Um, and we'll go explore it eventually. But I wanted to point that out because there's other things like that in the world happening when you're, you know, terraforming the planet. So places you've been to in the early parts of the game may have changed or added new secrets or new ways or new passages for you to get through, right? All right, let's go get our super alloy. I mean, we don't really need to hit the super alloy tier two drill, but we're gonna do it. And then we have our uranium drill too, which I'll double check our uranium. We, we probably will have to go get that, but we're into pulsar quartz, um, nuclear fusion reactor, or sorry, fusion reactors now. So we might not need as much uh, uranium, especially if we're gonna do a whole ton of rockets. So I might, we're just gonna skip, I'm just gonna skip it. I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna skip the uranium tier two drill for now. Should have topped off my O2 before coming over here. It's fine, we'll be, we'll be fine. Decent haul. Oops. Keep going the wrong way. You can see we got trees up here now, too, which we didn't have before. I'll drop this stuff off we have on from this drill and then I'll show you one thing pertaining to like what I was talking about earlier with the environment changing and secrets opening up.
Oops, wrong row. <laughs> I mean, we almost have two full cabinets of super alloy now, and we barely made a dent in all the rest of our resources, so... Yeah. I should have gotten that auto crafter down a lot sooner and used my resources a lot sooner instead of scrounging around for super alloy. That's my bad. But now you guys know for your own playthroughs, so... It's good, I guess. Helpful tips. Uh, iron and full. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll find our food and water. So in this iridium cave, you may have noticed it when we came and cleaned out our drill. And they do a good job of accenting it. This vine grew out of the ground up to the ceiling. You see that? Look. So there's a new little secret area up here. Can I drink this? Oh, come on, devs. That would be so much better if we could drink from that. I mean, it's a little oasis pond. There's butterflies up here, you can see. I don't know if that means that we have a higher chance of getting different kinds of uh, larvae up here or not, or if it's just up here for decoration. Got some new vegetation, some pitcher plants, I guess, what those are. Oh, that is a regular larvae. We got a box. Microchip, we'll take that. Uh, let's go ahead and deconstruct that so we know we were here. And look at this, we can look down on the base. So those of you that were with me in my uh, early access hardcore playthrough, uh, we built a museum up here that kind of overlooked everything. You, you can't build up here anymore, I don't think. You can try to get up here, but yeah, so there's like a ceiling thing. They, they like made it so you can't get up here anymore to build. I don't, I don't know why they did that. But like, there's like a ceiling and like invisible barrier, so you can't really get up there anymore. Which, I mean, that's fine. That's what they, I don't know why they would block us from building up there, but. So we'll have to find, find a new location for our museum. We're gonna run out of O2, I gotta get going here. I mean, I have O2 tank on me. I just wanna make sure we got everything. I think we did. box up here we can top off on. Oh, oh, we have tons of stuff in here. The heck? Might as well just drink that water. I didn't realize we left all that stuff in there. <laughs> Alright. Gathering and harvesting is done. Let's do our tier 2 drills for our zeolite and pulsar quartz. I kind of didn't want to do those until we got tier 3, but we need the pulsar cords for the generators. Um, <clears throat> sorry, for the yeah, for the nuclear fusion generators. I think I only have like 12 pieces right now. 11 pieces, so we can do two more generators. Our power situation is... Yeah, it's pretty good. 3,000 excess power right down here. Um, but l things take a lot more power now. Individual machines are taking between two and four hundred power each when you put them down. Um, so let's see what we need for our tier. Well, you know what? Let's see. I think we're quite a ways away from tier three drills, to be honest. But let's just double check. Thirteen point three three PA. So we would need more pressure to get to these. What's the difference between a tier 1 and a tier 2 optimizer? Uh, let me go take a look out here. Let's see if these things give any information on them. Optimization capacity 5 machines perimeter is 60 meters. 
Okay, so my guess is that a tier two just increases the capacity and the distance away. Which means putting a tier two out here will not increase our pressure any. Since I have so many of them, all my machines are currently being affected by them, so that's fine. And I don't think we unlocked... Yeah, we still only have tier four drills. I think tier five is a ways away yet. I don't think it comes in this tree. I think it's in this tree. Yeah, it's way up there. 23T, KT. 35T for our food tier two food growers. We're getting close to unlocking that. Yeah, we need to boost our plant production. All right, let's get these two tier two tier two drills down then, because I want to make sure we have a source of zeolite and pulsar quartz. So two, so four iridium. Let's pin this. <laughs> I told you I'd get in the habit of pinning stuff. All right. Uh, oh, I gotta clear this out. Um, zeolite. Oh, that's a lot of zeolite. Jeez. Uranium, aluminum, super alloy, food level low again, jeez, um, iron, flowers, oh we got a microchip to use, let's see, we'll put tier 2 fertilizer, we'll put some mutagen in there, Got more mushroom seeds, which is really good. Um, I had a viewer leave a comment um, in a previous episode about can you put like a mushroom in the recycler and hit the recycle and have it spit out a seed? That would be amazing if that's the way it worked, but it doesn't. You put a mushroom in here, you hit recycle, the mushroom spits out the other side. Um, so unfortunately, that is not a thing that works for us. Oops. Larva. That's engines. This is man made. Uh, flowers. We have some seeds to dump off. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and test or uh, use this microchip, see if we get anything cool. Construction menu filter? What is that? Hides lower tiers of items from the construction menu. Silicone, magnesium. Do I want that? Let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's try it. Silicone. Magnesium. Super alloy. I mean, you wouldn't think that's something you want, but it works, though. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. It cleans up the clutter. I like it. That's worth it. Okay. All right, tier two drills. Um, what do I... Oh, yeah, I was going to get stuff on me, but I was full. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... What storm is this? It's just a storm. Um, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And that storm is loud. Okay. Let's go take care of our water. We'll grab some food to take with us and we'll head out.
Uh, let's uh, 10, 11, 4. Slots do I have? Ten. Uh, since the crops weren't ready when we were first here, they're ready now. I'm just gonna harvest them up real quick. Ooh. Uh, for now, I'm gonna put these excess green beans over here so we don't have to mess with it. mushroom seed we have oh yeah okay all right let's go so this is a little bit of a jog um, I'm gonna I probably don't need this but I'm gonna grab at least a water to put on us take two we're going a ways I know there's water over there but and we're gonna want our inventory space open so we can bring some stuff back with us but the thing I want to do is get some materials for an OS box Top off. Okay. Titanium, silicone. See my three iron pieces. storage cabinet so let's grab another three pieces of iron I'm gonna try and keep moving we'll hopefully find our last piece of iron as we go there we go Okay, this is another this is another area that undergoes a major transformation. You guys may remember we were over here before um, for the uranium cave. Now we've got like this lush tropical jungle thing kicking off. I'm gonna want this flower. Top off our O2. All right, um, let's take care of our water situation too while we're out here where there's water. That's so nice to be able to do that. Uh, why is it so dark? They go in the wrong place. No, this is the right place. Okay. Um, this way. Going the wrong way. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Here's where I want to go. Now, hopefully, this place is thawed out. Hey. 
All right, let's get our tier two drill. <laughs> I was looking for the tier ones going, hey, wait a minute. Uh, let's see, can I? All right, not the best placement, but we're a little bit limited. Oh, it's iron? That changes everything. I mean, I don't need it in here if it's just gonna be iron. Maybe we need a tier three drill to, to get this stuff. That kind of sucks. gather up what we can then. Hello? It's not letting me get this one. That sucks. Right, let's just plop down a box real quick so we can top off. And I apologize for the storm noise. Oh, an osmium rod. Uh, I want that mushroom seed. Really don't want to waste food. I'm going to need some space, though, so... We can actually get in here. Wow, okay. Blazar quartz. This is something new that we haven't gotten. Man, I'm just too full. Let's, uh. Is this up top high? Can I get here normally? Okay, I think I can. Let's do this. Put a permanent box here in the middle, kind of near all these caves. And we'll get a wall locker. Where is it? Oh, I dropped the iron up there. <laughs> Can I get up here again? Okay, good. Let's grab that iron back out of here. Grab that. We'll come back for that stuff. So I'm guessing since the tier twos don't work in pulsar quartz, they're not gonna work in this quasar quartz or whatever it is. We'll try it just to see what it does. I drop the iridium. Oh no, I need the iridium. Uh, let's drop pulsar quartz for now. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop the flower. Okay. Right, let's see if we can put a drill down in here and see what this does. Maybe we can get a drill in here. Maybe over here. Oh, you can't put a drill in here? Huh. Might be an oversight on the devs part because these you need an, a source for these crystals. Maybe I can... Huh. Can I build a... I don't have an iron. That's strange. Yeah. It's not letting you put a drill in here. Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can't build anything in here. Well... Yeah, these have to be on the ground. You can't put them on. Okay. Hmm. Might have to do a little research on that. To see how you're supposed to get these routinely. Another box hiding over here. Oh, man. Put it underneath, I wonder. Huh. This is interesting. Okay. Uh, let me just see what was in here. Apologize for the storm noise. Oh, here's another crystal cave we haven't been in. Solar Quartz. Come on. Apologize for the storm noise. saw something over here. This looks like a new one we haven't seen before either. That's Quasar Quartz. Let me see if I can uh, let me grab a screenshot here. This might be good for this episode. Let's do this real quick. Okay. How much space do I have? Grab a little bit of this. Unless these are self-respawning caves, which I guess is a possibility. I don't think I can put a tier 2 drill down in here either. Oh, but it's going to be iron, I bet. Guarantee it's going to be iron. Let's see. Yeah. And I, I just don't want these out here. I mean, we could do it for the pressure score, I guess, but... Uh, I mean, it's not worth the power consumption. <clears throat> so we have Blazar, Solar, Quasar. Two pieces of iron on me. Can I get another piece of iron? Yeah. Let's go here. Get another locker. Dump that, that, that. Gotta be cognizant of our food. We only have one food left on us. I'm gonna try and collect up all of this. 
and just have it in the pod in the locker. So we can put a drill in Pulsar and we can put a drill in Quasar. We just couldn't put it in... Oh, there's a box down here. Okay. Take that. Okay, come on. Let me back up there. Box is down there. goes out to the box I think it does spend a little bit of time gathering up some of this stuff. I hope you guys don't mind. It kind of deviates from our plan, but uh, this little room with, oh, this is a Blazar Quartz room. Can I put a drill in here? Thought it was green for a second. Man. Oh, we can get a drill in here. Okay, so we have a Blazar Quartz room too. That other room we were in was just like a small version of this that wouldn't fit a drill, but. Oh, there's a lot of Blazar Quartz in here. Did we get it? Thank you. off our water keep an eye on our o2 as well grab this iron so we can make another wall locker because we're gonna need it yeah you know. so we got a way out right there how did we get in here we get it got in over here I'm trying to learn my bearings in this cave system I believe there's another type of quartz we haven't run into yet here. Uh, one, two, I need one more iron. See if we can get another piece of iron over here. Yep, we can. We'll eventually want to come and clean this stuff out. There's good stuff in this. Okay, let's, uh, where are we at? Let's head over here. Because there's another Pulsar Quartz. Another case here, too. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's all good stuff, but... I don't really want to eat that food yet. We can go ahead and drink that water. Free up a spot. Oh, another case. All right, here we go. This is the other crystal that we hadn't found yet. Magenta. Now we're gonna be full. This is a really small cave too. I wonder if, uh, yeah, there's no way we're fitting a drill in here. It's too low. I wonder if these are self-replicating caves. Interesting. We're gonna want to pick up this pulsar quartz for sure. Let's head back over to the pod and we'll drop some of this stuff off and then collect up a little bit more magenta. And then we'll call that good for now. Um, we obviously don't need those just yet for anything that we've unlocked um, that I know of. Kind of getting ahead of the game. Did I build another locker? I did. 
Okay, let's um, dump that off. Let's grab that. Dump that off. Let's go over here, dump the engines. Uh, let's grab flowers. Oops. Dump the flowers over here. Go ahead and grab the seeds. Let's go ahead, dump seeds. Tier two fertilizer. Tier one fertilizer. Oops. Man, we got a lot of iridium rods. Um, let's dump that osmium rod. I think I only need. Oops. Yeah, two rods for tier two drills. Ah, come on, stop hitting the wrong button. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, zeolite. Drop that off. Okay. Let's gather up more of this pulsar and magenta over here, and then we'll call it good. We'll head back. Good in here. Ah, uh, more engines. Engines are good. We were getting ready to do rockets, so that's a bonus. It just keeps taking up all my inventory space. Every time I come to collect something, I find another crate. It doesn't look to be a whole lot in here, so I don't know if this is. If there's going to be another magenta cave, or if these things are going to respawn. We'll have to double check the next time we come back if there's any crystals in here want to make sure that I'm getting all that I can out of here. Looks like we've got them all. Yeah, very little amount of magenta in there. Okay, we can get some pulsar quartz. Which is good. Get one more up here. Go ahead, eat our last food. So it looks like we can just walk right in here from that area where we were, where the uranium cave entrance is. I just came through the back way instead. Just fine, I came through the uranium cave right there. Uh, okay, let's drop that. Guess we drop that excess in there. You know what? I'm gonna just let's see. Yeah. Is there anywhere else I want a tier two drill though? Iridium, uranium. Oh, I need a zeolite. Uh Oops, that goes the wrong way. I need to go this way. Oh, that went the wrong way again. Gotta go under here.
All right, those things are just gonna like sit and collect. <laughs> Unfortunately. I need to get that stuff out of my inventory so we had space to take some of this stuff back. Okay, the most important things to us right now are... I guess we get that 500... I don't need that 300 plant or that 400 plant. Um, let's grab the excess pulsar quartz. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's grab that, that. I don't think I want any of those crystals. I'm just going to leave them here for now. Pulsar Quartz. Oh, that's not good. I guess we take this Tier 2 Fertilizer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We got 6 Rocket Engines, which is good. And we got a Microchip. Mushroom Seed, 500 Flower. Okay. We're going to head back, I guess. A little bummed. Uh, that we couldn't get tier 2 drills in Pulsar Quartz Cave. I got I thought I just assumed that was a thing. I didn't think it wasn't a thing. <laughs> so We'll head back and move on with our list, which is trade rockets. Got a little sidetrack there. Apologize. Getting all kinds of vegetation all over the ship and around the shipwreck. That's nice. Some water as well. Which we actually need to fix our hydration, so let's just do that. Okay. Well, that was kind of cool. I I was curious to see how they implemented those additional quartz crystals. That was pretty cool. I knew they were coming. Um, I've never worked with them before because they weren't in EA. At least not in the EA version I played. All right, let's go drop off our pulsar quartz. We can get four more generators with what we have, which is good. One, two, three, four. Um, Where's our osmium? Osmium rod in there. Put our tier two fertilizer here. I, I opted for the iridium rods over the uranium rods because we need them for heaters versus the uranium for the nuclear reactors, which we're not really, or the optimizers, which we're really not doing. Uh, so that's why I opted for that. Flowers, let's sort. Okay, so I have a 600 flower, four 500 flowers, wow, okay. Got some good flowers in there. Should probably be putting out more flower spreaders. Uh, methane, oh, that's not methane, that's uh, nitrogen. So let's put a nitrogen locker right here. Oops. Got engines over here. All right, let's uh, use our chip and see what we got.
A flare? What would I use a flare for? <laughs> what? Where do I, I'm guessing I make that over here? Okay, well I don't make it in either one of my crafters. Do I make it in an auto crafter? Use it to light places up in different colors. Deconstruct to get rid of it. It's a permanent light source. Light places up in different colors. Interesting. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it was bad. I just don't know if it's good or not, right? All right, we got a seed. We need to get some food on us, and then we'll get into our trade rocket and get that down. <laughs> Two more mushroom seeds. That's huge for our bioplastic nugget production. All right, let's see what we need for this. Um, oh, of course. We need uranium rods <laughs> and rocket engines. this works it looks like it includes a rocket so maybe I want to build multiple of them like a little launch complex looks like they're only six by two or three by two on the foundations look like pretty compact circuit boards what do I need for circuit boards I guess I have to do that in an auto crafter too need to get a couple more auto crafters put the second floor on upstairs let's see oh it can't do wait a minute am I missing something how do I make a circuit board Unlock them or something? Uh, did I just not see it? Am I being stupid? Uh, is it something I have to unlock? Oh, it is. 160 GTI? Oh my gosh, I'm so far away from that. Wow, that's gating. If ever there was a gating. I mean, I got the email from that lady to do the trade rocket. Why would they have a gated that far behind a friggin circuit board unlock that seems out of whack devs we're gonna email to create a trade rocket unless I'm just going so slow that 
I'm not where I should be <laughs> on my terraformation score, but that is a long ways away. I mean, look at all the stuff we have to unlock. Teleporters and drones, fusion cells. Like, I mean, that circuit board unlocks way over here. Okay, well, folks, I guess we're not doing our trade rocket. Well, let's see what else we got on our list here. Well, let me see something. That's the downside to that hide lower level stuff microchip, is I can't tell what levels of stuff are on previous older versions. So let me take this out. Heat 8.7, pressure 7.5. 1200 power, tier two food. See, we need freaking fertilizer for those. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's go top off our water. I need to be pushing my terraformation index for essentially is what it comes down to and I'm not sure the best way to do that. I mean I think we do tier 3 or tier 2 flower spreaders with our 500 and 600 flowers. That's not only going to give us oxygen but give us plants. And we should really do our rockets actually. I mean that's what's going to boost us I think. Let me go see what we need for our seed spreader. That'll be huge because that's going to be oxygen multiplier, which we haven't done yet. So let's 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 work on rockets for the rest of the episode. I think that's a fair thing to work on. Um, oh, I haven't been harvesting the tree bark. Ah. Uh, oh no. I mean, we have a couple, but it's not going to be the 10 that we need to do the seed rockets. We're just going to have to constantly be making sure we're, we're pulling the bark out of there. Uh, mutagen bacteria sample. Two mutagen, two bacteria samples. Okay, let's get the let's get those down. You know what? Can I pin them? Let's see if I can pin that. Not that I need to, but let's just see if I can pin that. Oh, I can. That's fantastic. Alright, so we need to come over here, grab our bark, which I have not been pulling out of here, and the sad thing is it only holds two, right? So, <clears throat> is what it is. <laughs> Alright, I need mutagen and bacteria. Let's see. I have a mutagen. I need two bacteria, so that's three water and three algae. Let's grab the water. Jeez. 
thing of sulfur. Should clean out my methanes. I forgot to do that. All right, two mutagen, two bacteria, two bark, four super alloy, two engines. All right, it's gonna give us a 2000 multiplier on our O2, which should help. You can tell I'm a little bummed right now. I think gating all that stuff behind that microchip unlock way down the tree when you're unlocking it and giving them giving the player messages to build it is just bad. Unless I'm that far behind on my terraformation score, but I don't think I am. I mean, that rocket looks pretty cool too. I don't think this storm is harmful to us. I think it's going to be kind of like the uh, plant spreader where it's just like, yeah, particles in the atmosphere. I'm not sure if I, I'm pretty sure I don't hurt myself by walking these back to back like this. I'm going to take off. Okay. Let's just come over here and make sure that it says two. Mm, that's gonna be buggy. That's what I was worried about. Is that if you launch another one while the first one's storm is still going on, it doesn't count? Maybe I just didn't wait long enough. Yeah, that's bad. Devs, you need to fix that. If, if that's not going to count when we do that, you need to not let us do it. That just wasted an entire rocket worth of material. Wait, is it getting another storm? Hold on. Maybe it was queued. Okay, maybe it was queued up. Let's take a look. Mm. I mean, I hear the second storm. Oh, it's at the top. Jeez. All right, sorry folks, you're probably all screaming at me like, what are you talking about? There's two there, what are you talking about? I was looking at the, I thought it was building the list going down and I wasn't paying attention that it said plant and not seed. Okay, that's good. So it did take, how's our O2 doing now? Yeah, look at that, it's going up really well now. Terraformation index isn't moving hardly at all. All right, where are we? We're, let's see, we got 610,000 on pressure. We have 671,000 on heat. 272,000 on oxygen. So we need to do more of these seed rockets, but unfortunately I don't have the bark to do more of these seed rockets. Do one more. Let's queue up a bunch of uh, tier two and tier one, or tier two, or sorry, mutagen and bacteria. This is where having more lake water collectors would come in handy, but I guess it is what it is. I take all this water. Come over here, take as much of this as I can. Here. Am I missing water? Of course, I'm missing water. I think both of these are cleared out now, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Guess I can go to my backup water sources. This is why you need excess things built because uh, when you go to do larger projects, you're just gonna find out that you're just out of stuff and <laughs> you can't do your project. Take care of our water when we go out next. Yeah, I'm low on water. Put this algae back. All right, one, two, Need six more water. And I can do three. Jeez. I mean, nothing in these because I just harvested them. Oh, I have a water locker though. Forgot about that. Go pilfer the water lockers. It's over here. Well, that's triggering. Okay. We'll leave one whole locker of water. Not that we need it anymore. So I'm going to just try and force myself to use it. I forgot to get water while we were out here. All right. So give time for another bark to generate as well. Do I just crank these out? What do I need over here? Methane and sulfur. Okay, let's see. One rocket, two rockets, three rockets, four rockets. I need one more bacteria. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. Okay. All right, we got two more rockets. Grab our engines. Oops. Oh, forgot super alloy. Food on me. Okay. Well, make sure I had food on me. Okay, we're at 5.45. So 
six, seven, twelve, twenty one rockets. Thirty-two. Okay, let's go over here real quick. I'm just gonna dump this off, to get it out of my inventory for a second. Why do I have access bacteria? Wait a minute. I did two rockets, right? Two more would be two of these, and. Or four of these and two of these. I have extra for some reason. Whatever. Okay. Uh, yep. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty, thirty three. Okay. Twelve. Four. Okay, let's go over to the iridium cave so we can pull some iridium. Uh, in case you're wondering, I've probably been inner dialoguing. I apologize, folks. Um, sometimes when I'm concentrating on stuff, I forget I need to talk to y'all. So, um,. I was figuring out what I needed to get all of my rockets to 10, and I need to make more engines, so I was calculating what I needed for the engines. We don't have enough iridium to get all, ten, all 21 engines made. Well, we need 16 engines, plus the 5 we already have, for a total of 21. Silicone, cobalt... Titanium, magnesium, how are we doing on super alloy? Second chest, let's go ahead and kick one of these off. And 14. I need two more iridium rods. It's fine. Um, what else did I need to make that? Oh, a super alloy. Okay, so. One, two, three. I need four. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 7, 7. Man, the water drain. I mean, it's good because we can just come out here and drink from the lake, but let's go over and top off our food. Oh, it's one bacteria, not two bacteria. That's why I had extra bacteria. Let's just double check crops. stuff harvested. Oops. Oh, 
Don't really need these beans. I've got an overflow locker for beans right now, so. Oops. It's fine. I guess I can put this back. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Hopefully enough time for a couple more bark to go, and then we'll, you know, kind of switch back and forth, allowing the bark to grow. Um, I don't have any bark on me right now, right? Yeah, okay. It'd be nice if there was two in here right now. There probably isn't. Oh, there is. Fantastic. Engines, dump all those off, just grab the two we need. Uh, four super alloy. Um, okay, that should give us two more. It'll put us at six. Did I not just drink water? Like, the water drain's getting a little ridiculous. Okay, it should say six now for seed rockets. Okay, it does. Um, let's do one of the heat rockets, which heat is silica, I believe. It's a pressure one. Dang it. We'll get the cobalt. And the good news is we need a lot of pressure rockets. And uh, those are gonna drop iridium, which we also need for our engines, so that's good. Um, let's see, let's go. Bad thing about all these pressure rockets that we have to launch off is that we gotta wait for the meteor storms to finish every time, which is slow. And we need lerma seeds for the um, plant rockets. Let's see what, where we're sitting on our lerma population here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. I need nine for the plant rockets. It's fine. Now this terraformation score is not going up hardly at all. see let me I know the recipe for pressure that's not a big problem but I forget the plant one so is there no asteroids falling right now oh it hasn't hasn't caught up yet <laughs> okay fine uh, it's this one right let's pin that oh, there's gonna be meteors coming down with my gas right now Alright, what does this need? 
nine fertilizer. Wait, we need bark for the plant trees too? stuff faster. This is going to be ugly with this long stretch of pods coming off the base, but I mean, I need to get more bark going. I need 14 rockets, all of which require bark, and I'm producing two at like one every... Like what? Two minutes? One every 90 seconds? Two minutes? Something like that? It's really low which is just bad. We'll focus on our pressure rockets right now. Give this a chance to give these two a chance to populate. Let's see what time is it? 1 hour 32 minutes. have to wait for the storms let's just let's try this we pressure rocket right yeah. Storms will obviously queue up, but I don't think I need to wait for them to finish to do the next rocket. Yeah, so we got two more pressure rockets right there. Okay, we need three more pressure rockets. How many engines do we have? should be our last three pressure rockets right there. I'm afraid to go out right now though. And we might be able to sneak off a couple more. We can get to the console. Uh, pressure. right as I got off the tower. Let's see, did it count both those rockets? Okay, it did. 
<laughs> so the, I guess the key thing is selecting it and hitting the button. Selecting it and hitting the button because it kind of got rid of the other rocket when I hit the button on the second one while the first one was still on the pad. garbage and debris. Okay, there. That's the last pressure rocket that we needed to get off. Now let's just double check that it says 10. It does say 10 pressure rockets. That's great. Pressure now is at 1.2 million. Heat's at only 745, so we probably need more heaters. Could put another tier two drill out here. Two, four, six, seven. Double check. 
check our bark output. keep this producing as much as possible. Wish I knew at the time, well, that's interesting. I mean, I cleared that one out. It had two in it. This one was built before I cleared that out. It only had one in it. I wonder what the deal is with that. Whatever. Drop those off, pick that up. We'll call this bark. All right, we should be able to go out and get these heaters down. I wanted to get four additional heaters, but uh, we're gonna have to settle for three right now until I can get the additional iridium that I need. Um, am I gonna be able to do this? Terraformation index score still isn't moving hardly at all. One one hundredth, like every three seconds. Let's see. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. So every four seconds, I'm getting a one hundredth of a point. And that circuit board is at what unlock level? A hundred and sixty GTI and we're at 18 and we're getting a hundredth of a point every four seconds they don't disappear before I can get them. Oh, they did already. Oh, no, they're over here. Hello, move rock. Oh, I got that one. Can't seem to get this last piece. How much did we get? Oh, that was 10. That was two reactors worth, assuming I can get this last piece. That's pretty good. All right, what are we sitting at? One hour and 45 minutes. This might be a good place to, to call this episode. I apologize for the last like 30 minutes being quiet without me talking. I'm just trying to work through this. I'm, I'm kind of a little miffed right now at the game that we had this email come in to do this thing. I want to get the trade rockets going and they've freaking gate locked a lot of these devices because so much stuff uses circuit boards. I mean, 
they've got a drone station way over here at 62 GTI. You can't build drones without a circuit board. And the circuit board is way up here at 160 GTI. Like, Debs, you gotta fix this. This is not okay. I don't know... I don't know how this slipped into 1.0 like this because all of this stuff requires circuit boards like drones. I even think the teleporter requires a circuit board and you can't even get to, you unlock this at 25 GTI. You can't get a circuit board till you're 160. Yeah, the, uh, you need, devs, you need to patch it. You need to get circuit board unlocked a lot sooner. A lot sooner. Um, I need to collect up all this stuff too. Um, I'm gonna have uranium and iridium laying all over the place from all those rockets we launched. Give me a bunch in the water too. Let's go to this rock clear out so I can grab this last piece. Did not. Is there magnesium in my thing right now? Must have accidentally picked it up. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pop out here real quick and see if there's any iridium or uranium laying out here that we need to pick up. Like that some of it might have crashed in the lake. Here's some uranium over here. Got some iridium over here. space do I have? Not a lot. Alright, we'll get back. We'll come back out over here in a minute. Interesting. When you go in the water, your drain is the default three oxygen per second, but when you come out of it with our air filter on, we're negative 1.3. So it's key to note that your oxygen drain is different when you're underwater. Okay, let's go here. Uh, can I do in a uranium rod? No, okay. Do that. Let's grab all that. Let's go over here. Okay. Finish collecting up this stuff, then we'll call it an episode. Um, sorry for the Debbie Downers, folks. I just am really annoyed that even when I get teleporters unlocked, even when I get drones unlocked, like I won't be able to use them because circuit boards are gated at 160 GTI terraform score. It's just terrible. I mean, why give people something like teleporters and drones if they're not going to be able to build them until until way later in the game? Like, it is, I mean, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Damn it, I didn't want to pick that up. 
Got that. Care about that magnesium. Might be more out here, but oh, there's some. I got four. Not gonna be able to get it all, but it's fine. Just go ahead and eat that food, and that way I can get this. Ooh, sure, take that. Ugh, oh, that just majorly bums me out. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't make any sense to me. Unless I'm wrong about the recipe. Let me check something. No, look at drones. T1 drone requires a circuit board to build. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, I guess we'll make a pass out here just to see if anything fell in the major or direct vicinity. Might be hard to see all the flower spreaders. Some. I'm glad they make this stuff stick around for a while. So that you don't have to try rushing around and collecting it all up. So make sure none fell in the water here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there was probably some in the water. Not sure if there's any over here or not. Doesn't look like it. bundle of uranium right there we can pick up some uranium right here by the drills I mean iridium all right we'll get this picked up and we'll end the episode uh, if you guys think I'm off base on this whole microchip thing let me know maybe there's something I don't know about maybe there's an unlock coming sooner than that that is gonna not interfere with our ability to do that let's see how we're doing on our tree bark Got both of those both of those those going Let's go out and get that uranium. Hopefully it hasn't despawned. Go get that first because it's older than the iridium that's sitting here. I missed some iridium right there too. Okay.
that all of it? No, we got more out here. Jeez. Got a, we got iridium all over the place. up and down side of doing those rockets is you get the iridium but then it's all over the place you gotta go out and collect it I seem to remember an issue with this microchip thing in EA too and I thought I thought they patched it or fixed it. Like, I don't remember having this problem in EA with not being able to make microchips when I had drones and stuff unlocked. So maybe, maybe by unlocking those other things. Well, it doesn't make sense either. Like, if if unlocking drones automatically unlocks chips, why put the chip down the same tree that the drones is on, right? So I mean, it's just not. I must be, they must be trying to gate us behind it or force us to go out and explore and find chests and stuff once we have those technologies unlocked. I, I don't know, I'm just, it just doesn't make sense to me. I don't even feel like going out and getting that Iridium. All right, we're gonna call the episode there, folks. Appreciate you hanging out, hopefully you enjoyed it. A little bit of a long one today at, an hour, at two hours. Uh, but we got all of our stuff pretty much taken care of. We didn't get our Pulsar Quartz Tier 2 drill because it just doesn't work. Um, we didn't get our Zeolite one down. We'll do that in the next episode. Appreciate you hanging out. Until I see you again, enjoy your gaming, and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.